Hello guys, my name is Coding Vampire. So the next topic that we're going to discuss is nested if. One if statement inside another if body or else body is called nested if. So I'll illustrate to you the working of nested if with the help of program. So write a program to check whether a number is even and also a multiple of 10. Okay, so in this program we have to accept an integer from the user and check whether the number is even. If the number is even, then check whether the number is a multiple of 10. So I'll include the two header file iostream.h has include conio.h then void main clear screen. Now I'll declare a in variable of the data type integer a now I'll write c out enter a number slash in semicolon c in a now I'll write the if statement if within parenthesis a modulo to double equal to zero then open the body of the if c out even number slash n now to check whether the whether a is a multiple of 10 i will write another if inside the outer if if a modulo 10 double equal to 0 then I'll write C out multiple of 10 semicolon and I'll close the bracket of the inner F then outer if get CH and close the main program I'll compile it run the code enter a number for example I entered 78 even number so what what is happening since 78 divided by 2 is double equal to 0 it displayed even number now since 2 divided by 10 is not equal to 0 so it discarded the if statement now I'll again run the program this time I'll enter 100 even number and multiple of 10 so since both the statement since both the condition were true both the if statement were executed notice that a number can be even at the same time the number can be multiple of 10 so do not write else if here which means that either one of the statement will get executed but as you know a number can be even at the same time it can be a multiple of 10 so both the condition can be true so you have to write if ok so we'll move on to the next question ok write a program which accept two number and divide the first number with second if second number is zero display not defined as you know when we divide two numbers that we have to make sure that the denominator mm. is not zero if it is zero because something divided with zero is not defined so I'll clear the screen mm. now include the two header file hash include iostream.h conio.h then you'll write void main open the main body of the program clear screen then I'll declare two two variable of the data type integer a comma b I'll write c out enter any two number slash n c in a and b now if b 
not equal to 0 then display C out answer is less than less than A by B then I'll write if the user entered B is equal to 2 sorry equal to 0 then I'll write else if b double equal to 0 then display not define now I'll close the body of the else if now I'll close the main program now compile okay run enter any two number for example 8 2 the so answer is 4 see what happened I entered b is equal to 2 since 2 is not equal to 0 it came inside the body of if and displayed answer is and it did the operation a by b and it encountered the next else if since b is not 0 it discarded this else if statement now what will happen if I enter b is equal to 0 7 now I'll enter the value of b as 0 not defined so now we'll move on to the next question example 5 write a program to create a 4 function calculator the program requires a user to enter 2 number and symbol of the operator and carry out the arithmetic operation and finally display the result so first of all please understand the question well in this program we need two variables and a symbol of operator the symbol of operator will be of the data type character now and we have to use if else statement to carry out the four arithmetic operation depending upon the entered symbol of the operator by the user will include two header file iostream.h conio.h then I'll write void main open the main body of the program clear screen now I'll write int a comma b comma answer then the next statement is character ch ch stand for choice ok so what happened the compiler create four memory location name of the first location is A name of the second is B third is the answer and the fourth one is CH whereas the first three are of the data type integer and the fourth one is of the data type char that is it can store only a single character now I'll write so first now I'll display a menu the first option is addition slash n less than less than now I'll again display string second subtraction less than less than the third is multiplication less than less than the fourth one is division so I have to write slash n right here because if I do not write slash n everything will be displayed in this in the same line after displaying then I'll write C out enter your choice no I'll write enter the symbol of arithmetic operator slash n 
then c in greater than greater than cs so whatever the user will enter that is the symbol of the arithmetic operator keep that in the memory location ch now I'll display c out enter any two numbers slash n c in a greater than greater than b now I'll use the if statement to carry out the particular arithmetic operation that the user want to carry out if ch double equal to addition symbol as you know character constant are enclosed within single code so I'll write if ch has the symbol plus then then c out then carry out the following operation answer is equal to a plus b now c out answer is less than less than answer now I'll close the body of this if statement now I'll write else if ch double equal to within the single quotes subtraction symbol open the body of else if answer is equal to a minus is equal to a minus b c out answer is less than less than answer now close the body of else if then I'll write else if ch double equal to asterisk mark Uh, sorry the answer is a star b c out answer is less than less than answer else if ch double equal to division symbol answer is equal to a a by b c out answer is less than less than answer now I'll close the body of else if now I'll write else now open the body of else c out wrong choice slash in because I'm writing this else because for example the user entered some other character instead of the four arithmetic operator so since when all the condition are false so it will come to the last one that is the else and display the wrong that you have entered a wrong choice now I'll close the main program get ch and close the main program now I'll compile it and I'll run it ok so it is displaying me the menu addition subtraction multiplication now enter the symbol of the arithmetic operator now for example I entered asterisk mark enter two number 4 5 now answer is 20 so what happen, it is happening in this program first the compiler accepted the character I entered asterisk mark then it asked me two number I have in the memory location A I entered 4 and in B entered 5 and then it calculated the answer and displayed me 20 so after taking the two numbers it when it encountered this if statement since character was not equal to plus because asterisk mark was kept in the memory location character so it discarded this if statement then it encountered the next else if in which asterisk mark is not equal to the subtractions operator so it discarded this else if as well then it encountered the third else if that is asterisk was 
asterisk was equal to asterisk then it went inside the body of else if calculated the answer and displayed me the answer now since one of the else if was true the other are discarded automatically okay so the next topic that i'm going to discuss is dangling else problem this problem arises when the number of if is more than the number of else so i'll illustrate what is dangling else problem in the next section in this chapter so thank you guys so much for watching as always i'll see you guys in the next tutorial